Hello, it's Divine Needle. My name is Nell, and I have received a request to do a personal reading. Yes, this person's name is a subscriber. Her name is Amy, and uh, she always seems to miss my live streams. <laughs> so, there you go. I will do a reading for you right now. I already shuffled this, pre shuffled this deck with your energy into it. Okay. I will uh, take a angel card for you too. So I will be doing that right now. Let's see what comes out for Amy, right? Amy. I'll shuffle a little bit more for you. She has been subscribed, long time subscriber. A few months, I think. She been joining the streams since the beginning. So I will do one for you too. Yes. Last night was absolutely amazing. Wow, there was a lot of people coming in. Yeah. I streamed for about four and a half hours. <laughs> Woo, it was a lot of fun, but I was beat. I was. Whew. Okay, Amy, what's the current situation for you? What is the current situation? Okay, I feel like I'll take that one. Five of Wands. Okay. What's the challenge with this Five of Wands for Amy? Oh. Ooh. What's been going down in the recent past for Amy? What happened in the recent past? go six cups what's gonna go down in the near future for Amy okay that one wanted to go so I will take it eight of wands what's going on in the conscious mind for Amy What's going on in the subconscious? What's the advice for Amy? What is the advice for Amy? Okay, Knight of Cups. Yeah, sometimes they flip out and sometimes I feel which card I need to take. Yeah, I just feel it. And if I don't take it, I used to do that in the past, I would regret it. I'm like, um, well, regrets. It's like, no, that's not. You should take that card. So I did that long before. Yeah, I was doing readings for myself. So. That's when I learned that. Okay. How do you see yourself, Amy? Or want to see yourself? Share you. How do others see you or want to see you? Ooh. Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. Hopes and fears for Amy. That was quick. Empress, definitely a hope. And what's gonna be the final outcome for Amy? What will be the final outcome? Oh, tower! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Bottom of the deck for you, underlying energy. Two of swords, a head over heart decision. Not knowing what to pick, that kind of energy. Um, there might be some obstacle in your life that makes you pick a path. Yeah, and it's hard to decide what, which one to pick. Yeah, this could be in the form of ideas because it, because it is swords. But in these Celtic Cross readings, it could be something else too. 
it's a decision and you have a hard time deciding what it is or where it should go okay don't know how that resonates but boom okay current situation for you just try one with something okay inner outer struggle this could be battle this could be fighting uh, with significant other or family members friends um, but usually it's in within yourself struggling about something okay okay now what challenges that that's interesting it could be which significant other or family because we do have the two of cups here so it could be struggles within your relationship it's kind of what I feel don't know if that's true but that's what I feel about this struggling in a relationship like fighting maybe or arguments or even a want that you know that you want to do that but I kind of doubt that but this signifies to me that yeah there could be some fighting going on okay uh, yeah let me know if that resonates but yeah that's what flopped out and that's what I feel about so okay recent past for you six of cups talks to me about very good memories uh, this could be with your significant other and that significant other might be a very serious thing for you yeah I mean very big okay because six of cups uh, could be past life too okay but this could also indicate the a family member it could be past life too yeah in the research that my wife did uh, we came about um, the information that we reincarnate in the same family lines if that is really true I do not know but there's a big chance that that might be so yeah fond memories good memories though could also be childlike behavior not in a bad way in a really good way but um it's definitely yeah it feels like a huge relationship for you okay in the near future fast and coming energy fast moving energy this could be in the form of emails but it could also be uh, your significant other yeah coming in with a message big message for you okay could also be you giving him uh, a big message it could be good or bad I do not know but it's gonna be big because got the tower too in the final outcome so there you go prepare if you or maybe you are the one gonna do that uh, you are the one that is gonna do that um, yeah fast moving energy okay you might be one of those wants or all of them <laughs> yeah okay what's your focus right now finding balance in your life uh, this could also mean juggling juggling a lot of stuff in your life right now okay uh, this could mean which relationship and job and your home life um, trying to juggle it okay if you know what I mean by that it's uh, yeah making it happen a lot of stuff going on I know with the planet and stuff how things are going right um, that could be or it could be could signify finding balance within yourself you have achieved balance that's how I could see that too but I feel it's leaning more towards yeah juggling okay <laughs> The advice for you knights of cups taking action okay either you should take action or your significant other should take action uh, yeah this could also indicate a person coming towards you okay prepare for a person coming towards you but uh, together with this eight of wands energy right here I feel somebody's gonna take action or you gonna take action and 
it is cup so it is in love it could be in something else entirely too but it is taking action and yeah the subconscious is telling me that you should or you the other one should somebody uh, should take action yeah and i feel it's gonna be in the form of a big message okay okay how do you see yourself or want to see yourself balance movement forward now this could be going on for you or this could be a want um i feel it has to do with this juggling act okay. botox you got botox i just noticed that look at that <laughs> yeah balance movement forward yeah, finding balance. This could be a want or it's going on. Yeah, I do feel it's already going on. Not sure. Not sure, but I kind of feel that way. How others see you or want to see you. Queen of Wands. Yeah. Following your heart and mind. And not backing down. Okay. So that could be what other others perceive of you okay that's probably yeah that's probably correct yeah how i see you yeah could be a want to but i don't feel that i feel that's actually going on for you hopes and fears definitely a hope hoping on the abundance hoping ah this could be hoping for a child too Hoping that you're gonna be uh, a mother, something like that. It's very creative energy. Maybe you are looking at creating something in your life, uh, something else that is currently not there. That could indicate this card too. But um, it's definitely creative, abundant energy. So that's very much a hope. I don't think this could be fair. It could be, but I doubt that and remember fast messages information being switched out right in your other future cards you have the tower yeah divine intervention final outcome yeah something's gonna rock your world or somebody else's world okay and it feels it has everything to do with this card it's gonna be some news coming in or are you gonna do it or somebody around is gonna do it to you that kind of energy so yeah don't fear those moments okay usually a lot of people are like oh the tower i feel it's all destiny okay it could be hard times coming but it could also be very very good okay this could winning the lottery that's a big tower too so look at it as like that okay but yeah there you go it's your two future cards seems like something's gonna happen this could be in your relationship or something around you not sure but there's gonna be some yeah yeah it feels kind of gonna rock the world in a good or a bad way i do not know but take this as a heads up perhaps you're planning something to give news to somebody that could be going on too but yeah that's it for the tarot let's see what the angels have to say right these messages are also always positive don't we all like that it's not reality but there are good messages yeah good advice hello from heaven archangel azrael your loved ones in heaven are doing fine let go of worries and feel the loving blessings there you go amy hope you like that i'm sorry you missed out on the stream but I hope this reading will help you out a little bit. I do I feel that it does. And I hope it resonates for you. And uh, yeah, a like and subscribe. But you are already subscribed. 
You can also donate if you feel like any any amount that you feel is equal to the reading you get. And yeah, that's it. Join me this evening. Come share your energy. Okay, that will be awesome. Uh, yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.